Hey guys, it's Tuesday. Um, we, again with the shifty camera, that's okay. It's, it's, it's homemade and, and it's homemade with love. Um, I don't know if you can hear the construction outside, I apologize. I have closed my window, but equipment is loud, so I don't actually know what my hair is doing. I also don't know what it sounds like because I'm not listening to this video right now. I'm just listening to myself talk. So, my, what I wanted to talk about this week was a comment that was made on my video last week. Okay, I'm so sorry about my hair. I don't know what's happening. But I'm going to obsess about it for a second. And now I'm going to stop. Okay, so a comment that was made on the video that I posted last week about Halsey. And about how she uses male pronouns in her songs because that's what sells. Now, I'm not, like, saying that you can't believe that, because if you do believe that, then that's your opinion, and I don't really care what your opinion is. Um, but just from my perspective, she doesn't seem like a kind of person to erase part of her identity to sell music. She doesn't seem like the kind of person to erase part of her identity to sell music. And I especially don't think that there's a lot of artists that will do that because now that, I mean, obviously we still have struggles today, but the LGBT plus community is a little bit more widely accepted in America. I mean, definitely more than it has been um, in the past. And it's... It's more like artists to recognize that and use that to their advantage and, you know, be, I don't want to say eccentric, but like broadcast that part of their, their identity because a lot of, I mean, music is, it's created from, I don't know, I have a, I'm, I guess I'm a little bit biased because I have very strong opinions about music and I think that to, in order to make music, you have to really do some, like, I mean, especially the kind of music that Halsey makes is, like, you have to do a lot of soul searching and a lot of, um, identity building, like, accepting your identity to write that kind of music. And uh, the kind of music I'm talking about is really, like, emotionally, uh, driven and just stuff that really resonates with or can resonate with a lot of people because it it can be interpreted so many different ways and when someone thinks that an artist is or is going to erase up like a part of their identity just so they can sell music especially that kind of part of their identity I just I just don't think that that is what she's doing I mean you could say the same thing about Billy Joe Armstrong, because he's only ever written songs about girls, but is bisexual. But that doesn't make him any less bisexual, and it doesn't make Halsey any less bisexual. And it doesn't mean that they're trying to sell out, because straight music makes more money. It means that those are the relationships that they've been in that have impacted them enough to have them write songs about it. And have them expose part of their soul for it. And th again, this is just my opinion. Like, you don't have to listen to me. I mean, you all subscribe to this channel so you can listen to me. But, uh, I don't know, maybe you all, you, you probably all subscribe for mystery. But, uh, I, just, I don't know. It's just, I don't, I don't think that's what's happening. I think... She's only been in relationships with guys, or she's only been in relationships that impacted her enough to write songs about guys, which is why she writes songs about guys. And that's okay. Again, it's okay to write songs about one gender, one sex. It doesn't mean you're selling out, or it doesn't mean you're trying to appeal to a certain audience. It's just... She just seems like the kind of person who writes music for herself and whoever likes it, likes it. That's great. I don't know. 
What do you guys think? And original commenter, I don't remember your username, but uh, thanks for giving me a, 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 a topic to talk about this week. I enjoy it. Um, I, I enjoy it. I appreciate it. And yeah, let me see more of your, your critical thinking this week. I'd love to talk about it. Um, yeah, that, that's all I have to say. I hope you guys are enjoying your week. And, oh, I hope, I hope you guys had a really great Halloween, because Halloween is, like, my favorite, favorite, is it a holiday? I'm gonna call it a holiday, because I love it. Um, I hope you guys had a great Halloween. I did. I chaperoned, I (laughs) chaperoned, I chaperoned, I chaperoned 14 kids around a small town, and, uh, with one other person my age, and that was a lot of fun, and then we all went back um, to where we were staying and watched Nightmare Before Christmas and ate too much candy and stayed up way too late. And then I watched the clock change from 1.59 a.m. to 1 a.m., which was awesome. Daylight savings, man. All right, yes, I, that, is, that is all I have to say for now. <laughs> next week is a whole different story. I will see you guys next week. Bye.